Let's get right to it. Within almost every top-tier role in IT, there are generalists and there are specialists. It's the same principle you see in medicine. You have general practitioners and you have neurosurgeons. Let's talk about the roles in the data space and some of their subspecialties. There aren't that many subspecialties in the data analyst role because it's an entry-level role. Data analysts create KPIs and dashboards, and that's it, and that's what they do. Within the machine learning role, you have quite a few subspecialties. Most of machine learning is actually a subspecialty. In previous videos, we noted that most real-world machine learning is regression and classification on structured data. This accounts for around 80% of all machine learning in the real world. That means most machine learning engineers are going to focus on these type of problems. These are actually the only models I've ever built. Therefore, my niche is modeling structured data problems using gradient boosters. Since this is the type of problem most of us will be working on, maybe we should consider this the generalist role. Outside of structured data problems, the two most prevalent in the real world within machine learning are computer vision and NLP. It should be noted that my only focus here is on the applied space. I don't care about research or anything at the college level. Around 20% of real-world machine learning is NLP and computer vision. The top model for both of these problems are deep learning models. That means those who work in NLP and computer vision are deep learning specialists. I was a SQL Server DBA for over two decades. I spent the first five years as a generalist. After that, I focused on performance tuning. So my subspecialty within SQL Server was performance tuning. The data engineer also has many subspecialties. You could be a data engineer and only focus on cloud data warehouses like Snowflake. I work with several of them right now, and the only thing they do all day is Snowflake administration. In this video, we've only spoken about the data roles. However, this taxonomy exists in most real-world IT roles. Once you get your first job, you'll learn the various directions your career can take. The last thing I'll add is the money. I've seen no real difference in the salaries for generalists versus specialists within IT. If you're good at either, you're going to get paid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.